mě Arthouse Hejtmánek. Díky za to. Já moc také děkuji. Nashledanou. A Nadežda Hávová se těší zase příště. Český rozhlas plus zprávy v angličtině. Check Radio. News in English. government met to debate the worsening coronavirus situation in the country on Monday, as well as the health ministry's inoculation strategy and ways to motivate more people to undergo testing. The cabinet is expected to ask the lower house to extend the ongoing state of emergency. Since last Thursday, when shops and restaurants reopened, the national risk score has increased from 57 to 64, putting the country back on the fourth level of the government's coronavirus emergency system. Hygiene stations fear they will be unable to cope with increased coronavirus testing and tracing in the coming weeks due to the introduction of voluntary testing for free ordered by the government. According to Denik N, many hygiene stations have already reached their capacity limit. Although fewer people are sent for testing by GPs, hygiene stations have begun testing teachers on government orders and will be expected to conduct antigen tests for members of the public willing to undergo voluntary testing for free as of December 18th. Weather. Tuesday should be partly cloudy to overcast with scattered showers and day temperatures between 3 and 7 degrees Celsius. My name is Ian Willoughby. You'll find more in English if you go to radio.cz. In response to changing trends, the Ministry of Culture has announced plans to establish a new fund for the support of TV and video game production. Czech Television reports it on Sunday. If the subsidy program is approved by the government, it would bring 750 million crowns of funding for original TV shows and video games. Tom McEncrow has more. Already before the onset of the coronavirus, high-quality television films and series were becoming an increasingly competitive segment with movies intended for the big screen. At the same time, the worldwide video game industry has already tripled its income when compared to the box office industry in past years. The Czech Ministry of Culture is planning to respond to these trends by creating a special audiovisual fund that will be focused on supporting television and video game productions. The fund would operate with a 750 million crown budget, a significant portion of the 3 billion crowns that the ministry is hoping to receive via the EU Coronavirus Recovery Fund. Culture Minister Lubomir Zauralek told Czech Television that he sees this as a logical investment. It should be in the interest of the state to create a strong segment of the Czech economy in this area. In some neighboring countries, it's already uh, the second or third most significant part of the economy. Setting up a fund focused on both television and gaming could have its benefits too. The director of the State Cinematography Fund, Helena bezdjek frankova told Czech Television that the ministry has already identified relevant connections between the animation and gaming sectors. Pavel Barak from the Czech Game Developers Association agrees. The games industry is actually quite a wide variety of positions and it's connected with uh, animation but it's also connected in movies industry because the games are getting more and more advanced it requires already actors or people that can understand camera or script writing or these sort of things he also says that this is the first time that the state is actively talking to the Czech games industry, whose revenues reached nearly 5 billion crowns last year. This is quite a lot compared to the film and television industry's 1 billion crowns. We approach it very positively, but right now it's all in the state of planning, so we are quite open to what we'll bring, but we will see. It's really at the start. The government is expected to decide on whether to go ahead with the proposal at the turn of February to March next year. However, some economists have criticized the ministry for allocating too few financial resources into innovative projects, according to Czech Television. For a long time now, the Czech Game Developers Association has been calling for state help, particularly in the area of supporting relevant education that would generate much-needed graduates for the gaming sector. An active role of the state in attracting foreign investment is also seen as important, says Mr. Barak.
That's all we have time for right now in English. Join us again tomorrow evening. Když chcete vědět proč. Český rozhlas plus. Bývalý předseda milionu chvilek, Mikuláš Minář.